So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome to another episode of Palladia Plays. Now as you can see, I'm playing a different version of Persona 3 this time. This is P3P, the version that came out on the PSP. Now I did that to try and save us all a little bit of a headache as the frame rates were dropping a bit too consistently in the FES. Uh, once I get a video capture card, it won't be an issue on the PlayStation. But for now, this was the best alternative. I apologize for the thing. Now let us continue. This is just before going to sleep. And you're tired today. You should go to bed early. What else am I gonna do? April 7th. It's Yukari! Are you awake? No? Maybe. I feel like if I don't open the door, she'll just kick it open. So, open it for her. Good morning! Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. I Are got you ready to go? Six hours of sleep. No, I did not sleep okay. Sure, I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. Now, there are a lot of differences between this and the FES version. Like this, before obviously, was just an FMV. While here, they take we the time to, to explain what's going on there. here. That your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Here with this version, they take a lot of time to explain more things. I don't know if I like that or not personally, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just for me. Morning. The Morning. original well, version did a are. fine job Welcome of showing you, as opposed High. to just saying, "Hey, gonna love it here. this is this, and that is that." You're okay from here, right? Maybe. You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left, and that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Hey, what class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw. You talking okay? about the coffins? See you later. Uh, the strange little boy, or you with a gun? Let's go check the board first. Actually, I won't talk to you. What do you have to say? Faculty office? Uh, I think it's that way. You think it's that way? Oh, you're new here too. Never mind. You should probably ask someone else. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'm just gonna go. Can't find your name. Look for it again, please. I know I exist. Ah, there it is. There's a small note with your name on it. Bob McGee, class F. You look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. Now that wasn't in FES originally, but you probably could have guessed anyway that you'd be in the same class as Miss Yukari. Oh, sorry, Miss Takaba. What's this? What are you? Bulletin board. Exam results. It's April 4th or 7th, sorry. There are no exams yet. Entrevue. Oh, are you the new student? I'm your mom. Sorry. <clears throat> 11th grade, correct? The teacher slipping through wow, pages in a you've file. you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> but I'm boy. sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Uh, when they blink, by the way, there are lines of white lines pop up around their eyes. Sorry about that, guys, but this is still a far better improvement than what was happening in FES when I got to this point, so... Nice to meet you! Wow, such enthusiasm! Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will there be starting have to. soon. Follow me! Could we not, please? Is that a thing we could skip? As you begin the new school year... When a plot <laughs> Could you not do this speech? <clears throat> Sorry, I know I skipped it. It's just he bores the crap out of me. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Right. I saw you two walking together. Yeah. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? Me. Okay, not me yet, but maybe later. I don't know what just met her. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. Nice so time. how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. I believe you can bite me. You're going to get me in trouble. Early morning to after school. That was a fast school day. Your first after school session Except is about dude. to begin. Oh, what? How's it going? Don't interrupt me. Who the crap are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. 
So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you yeah, ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It's fate. <laughs> fate? You're right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this yes, morning. Yes, yes we What's did. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? No, oh, no, I didn't mention you having a gun or the keep it to the contract. No, no, none of that. No. Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? Well, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> the what? look on June's face face. Last night. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. She will shank you, June. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. <laughs> but hey, Sorry. it's your first day that here, was a people are already talking about you. Persona Believe it or too. not. She's actually pretty popular. I'll cover You're it when he ever shuts up. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. In Persona 2, the entire shtick is that if rumors get passed around, then they they become true. They become real. When I finally get to that, which will probably be way on down the line, then you'll see. You decided to go home with Junpei. Well, that was fast. Is he at least gonna buy me dinner? Well, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Small talk. Out of school in the evening. There's a sign encounter on the sheet, and this is where we save. You can save your game at the sign sheet. Welcome back. Save. Save completed. What do you have to say, Mitsuda? I don't know, we've been doing this about eight minutes, so I'll continue for now. You really shouldn't be outside on your own now. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. No. What are you, TV? I want to watch TV. You turn on the television. It's a trend that this might spread all over town. Wow, I said that terribly, didn't I? Sorry about that. My English just stopped. It stopped. It ceased in history. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime, and they're all over town now. The blossoms this year were a little late compared to other years, but they'll be at their peak this week. You cry when you get saved. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Wandering around talking to random people. I say random people, but it's you and Miss Tuguru, so I'm talking to you two and the TV. Yes, so that's nothing. Just looking around, actually. <laughs> well, there's not much to see. You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Yeah, as opposed to the 12 o'clock from last night. What are you? What are you? Oh, the mentor. Do I have to pee? Go in! <laughs> I had to pee, everyone. My single was successful. You feel refreshed. Your condition has become great. Really? It's that easy now? Used to, there was a random chance when you used the bathroom for your condition to change. But uh, apparently here it just automatically goes up when you use the bathroom. So that's a thing. That is indeed a thing. Now then where was that? Okay, it's second floor hallway. I probably just push square and go automatically, but oh well. What are you? It's a vending machine. Buy some of the drink. Cello Miss Sobe Mad Bull. Very funny. <laughs> hey, hey, can I go in here? Okay, here goes room. There's someone inside, huh? Is that Mitsuru? I'm busy now. Sorry, but could you come back later? No, it's the new guy. Will you go back to your room now? Yeah, sure. Come back. You feel tired. You should get some rest. How do I feel tired? I did nothing. Well, I went to school. Later at the dormitory lounge. A young man walked I'm down the stairs and Mitsuru was reading a book. Sorry about that. I've seen the newspapers lately. I know. 
People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. A little practice, he says. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Nobody enjoys it. April 8th, Wednesday. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? No, oh, I'm something about a bathroom. <laughs> That's also from Brizona, too. No, no! Not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming at school, at school coming, at school. Well, that was, uh, that took on a completely different meaning. I'm very sorry about that. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the wall all night. Well, that's not exciting. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> How about that? Hey, you don't believe me? First bell has rung. Early morning, afternoon. Open your textbooks. Test books? Wow, why can't I talk tonight? Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zinzo Kasai. Uh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I just say was my favorite author? Um, who did she like? Kubota. She just said that. Ooh, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. Well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Bob. <laughs> Bob! Hey, Bob! <laughs> Your classmates whispering. Bob, give him the answer. He must pay attention in class. You became probably more popular. Your charm increased. I'm more charming for telling one answer? You know what? I ain't gonna complain. Class has ended for the day. There's nothing to do, so you decide to go back to the dorm. Evening. The dramatory learns. Oh, he's back. I so, totally missed that This part. is our new guest. Yeah, dog. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. You just <laughs> hard to say, isn't it? That's that why I don't like introducing myself. Hipster Even beard. I get just... Sometimes I apologize about the confusion regarding uh, your accommodations. <clears throat> you However, me it may be. take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? What up, dog? Why are you here? Who else lives here? The other night I saw. No, I'm good. You know what? For uh, brevity's sake, I'm just gonna say no, I'm good. Then <laughs> We're I good. hope you have Done. a successful school year. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, please be gone. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Your mom should say, go to bed early. The early bird Sorry. catches the bookworm. <clears throat> please forgive the bad pun. It wasn't <laughs> even a pun, you... You'll get uh. used to his lame jokes. You should rest for today. You decided to return to your dorm room. Why am I hearing a coyote on a man-made island? Why is that a thing? Game, what are you thinking? Later, in a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? So Hardly how's worried. he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Your mom is approaching. I'm so sorry. I'll stop with your mom, I promise. I, I probably will, but I will try to stop with your mom. This sucks. Not that I'm doing... You know, never mind. Just forget it. Upbeat music is playing from Murder the Man has dog on it. Pay tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. Midnight. I understand they had to ask a lot of what? stuff here. Like, that was an FMV. This, this was an FMV originally. And I think it portrayed what happened to this fella a bit better with him. Becoming slime, essentially. Uh, more slime than he was before. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Poof. 
Back at a certain room of the dormitory. <laughs> a certain room of the dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. Notice. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden, hidden hour. hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his <laughs> Sorry, human form. I've just he's sat through this so many he's times. definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. The potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Which brings up, Scary. why is it good to be We should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. It's cool, dog. Z Z Z Z Master. Master Bob McGee. What? Okay, well that's a thing. <laughs> Did I mention how much I love Igor? I'm so glad he's been around since the first persona. And I love the significance of the different velvet rooms. Like, Welcome this is an elevator. Velvet room. Which takes you to a very hot place that I won't spoil right now. I am delighted to make your Serious old gentleman. This huh? is okay. Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you signed at the dorm is long before I Henceforth, go. Igor, sorry. You shall be welcome is here Igor? in the Velvet Room. So how did you, you get the contract to from the kid? You unique ability, and you <laughs> like require here. my Dang help <laughs> to do so. I only ask one thing in return. That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. I understand, I understand. Is this a dream, honestly? You should probably say this is a dream, but <laughs> I'm gonna say I understand. Hold on to this. Because I've played through this game about eight times now. Only the P PSP again. version only once, so there's that. April 9th. This is actually close to 1%. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that will be the end of this recording. Uh, we made more progress this time. We're still out in actual gameplay stuff, but that'll start in the next episode. So, for now, I'm going to say good night, and I will be seeing you.